What's up, everybody? Alex here, and welcome to this match of Dota Underlord Standard Live in Season 1, being recorded on Twitch TV as it always is in front of an absolutely wonderful audience. Now, even though that's a pretty good mage start there, I'm going to take this Hunter uh, Hunter Heartless. I actually haven't done Hunter Heartless in some time here. It's top of the meta to you. Top of the meta to you. So we got to try and do it there. That was my attempt at a Irish accent. But, uh... Can I say I'm not particularly Irish? So perhaps my Irish accent was a little off. But hey, let's go for it. It's raining today in White Spire. I'm going with the rainy maps. This is the one rainy map, like Mommy Eve's rainy farm. It just sucks so bad I can't do it. Like I can't even I can't even look at it. It upsets me so much. It's so bad. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chain mail here. Chain mail over oh, 25% of Asian. I'm gonna take the chainmail. We'll take the chainmail, we'll put it on Pudge. We'll take the double bounty, sell her. Put her on, put him in. Could actually do this quick. This isn't crazy. Some quick assassin synergy. Is this an assassin game? Well, hello, hello. Oh, you're the one always talking about the fish being expensive. I appreciate that. Actually, literally, I got home from late work late today. I recorded, uploaded, edited, encoded a video for my uh, my second channel. Got one ready for this channel. And then literally ate dinner as fast as I could and came here. So I haven't had a chance to to, uh, to go through comments today. I, I, I'm I going to. Comments are so important to me. Like, I want to respond. This is... I've been so strapped for time, like, a lot, a lot of people don't realize this, I do work full time, and it, it's like, it can be a challenge just managing everything, everything, but I'm trying, I'm trying, but yes, I do, I do see a lot of the, uh, a lot of the fish sauce comments, I do appreciate that, someone's got to let people know that fish is expensive, and I'm glad it's you, I'm glad it's you. What are my thoughts on the hood of Defiance, 3% magic resistance? It, it kind of suffers the same problem as the uh, MKB. It's a good item, it is. It's a good item, but it counter the counter's too specific. Like, if mages get really popular, then all of a sudden that's an A-tier item. But um, until they, like, for instance, uh, if, if rogues were not garbage, if rogues weren't total garbage, MKB would be legit. But MKB is irrelevant because rogues are irrelevant. So it's one of those situations where, like, what came first, the chicken or the egg, or the egg, or the item and the alliance? In this case, it appears that the item came first, and that's why it's bad. Wow, I'm getting assassin RNG like crazy here. Oh my gosh, I think I gotta go assassins. I can't, I can't ignore this. I can't ignore this. I have to go assassins. Sell these two. Take him. He comes in for him. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to do Assassin's. Let's do it. We could do... We could do assassin Spirits. We got Spirits right here. We got... We completed Spirits. You know, I'm going to get rid of the Anti-Mage right now. I'm going to go assassin Spirits. Let's see what we can do. Hood works well in Night Builds. Yeah, I agree. Hey, Major. Good to see you. The major thing with the, uh, the Hood, though, is that, like, it's really only truly effective um, if... if the meta deems that, uh... Mages are effective. It's kind of a weird, it's like a catch-22, right? So, I am I going to try Assassin's Spirits? Is that kind of a... I kind of wanted to try something like that. Pike's pretty good here. Pike, I'm pretty comfortable with Pike here. I'll take Pike. Like, I don't love it, but it's good enough. DH comes in. Do I level put him in? I do. I do. I take the roll. What do I get? Okay, we take PA2. Do this. Here's the thing, though. Now he comes out. Now we don't go spirits at all. Or do we go spirits? PA. Let's hold spirits for a sec. I'll hold the PA on the bench. Maybe we quick level. I don't want a quick level, though. Damn it, Spirits didn't do anything. Literally did not get a Delta Slam off. That is really bad. Okay. Bounty Hunter getting a few kills there. 
So we lost, but not by too much here. We'll get a free roll. Look at the Venom. Look at the Venom there. Why oh, should just hold him for a sec? Okay, hold on. We gotta do this now. We gotta do this. Things got weird, guys. Things got weird. Bear with me. Oh my. Look at this now. Let's see how this goes for a sec. I'm not sold on what I've done here, but let's see. So I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go. Spirit Assassins. I feel like you know that's a build from good old, from good old beta in early season one that we haven't touched on in a while. I think there might be some potential there. But also, I don't want to just turn away from spirits if we're getting that kind of RNG, right? So we're gonna lose again, which is fine. We're getting some rolls here. We're being gifted this. Now, we are seeing a lot of Shaman. Look at these Shaman. I should have went for Quelling Blade. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I'm getting... I'm getting a lot of RNG here. A lot of favorable RNG. It hurts leaving PA on the bench. Demons, eh? Haven't thought about demons in a while. We don't- we can't run Venomancer long term. We run him for now because he's good enough. He'll eat away, we got poisons active. But realistically, good morning. Flavin, good to see you. Dirty demons here as well, good to see you. Alex, are swordsmen any good? No, I think swordsmen are garbage. Like, honestly, all, all the new alliances are bad. Like, it's just... With the exception of Fallen, but even getting a Fallen 6 is, like, borderline heart attack inducing. I think that uh, Fallen... Like, I don't know, the meta's in a really weird spot right now. So, we could take this level, drop down to 12. Now we have good RNG for Spirits. Take what we got here. Man, okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't think... No, I think we stay here for a sec. We're not losing again. Damn it, again, we're getting weird RNG. Like, Storm Spirit's good to put in. Like, I'll put Storm Spirit in. Now we got the Queen 2. It doesn't make sense. Like, we, we're getting good RNG here. I just... I also don't want to level out here. I got to check contention. Guys, I think we have a good lineup. And we're really being gifted Poisoners. Like, I want to go Spirit Assassins, but do I just go Spirit Poisons and Assassins? Yes, of course, Matt. Of course, other YouTubers are going to suggest you just blue streak the entire time. That's not how I play. That's not how we play. That's not what we do here. That's not what we do. We go for it. We go for the dub all the time. Relentless. Relentlessly forward all the time. Uh, as good as Culling Blade is in this particular match. No, they kind of cooled off. We're going to take the Halbert. Take the Halbert. The reason why we add, we give a little a uh, little bit of added survivability here. We got Ember as well. We're getting good RNG here. Listen, listen. I'm not I'm not denying that open fording is not effective. It is. In fact, it's way too effective. In fact, open fording is by far the most effective thing you can do in this game. You know what the problem with open fording is? It's absolute garbage. It's absolute garbage. It's uninteractive. It should have been ripped out of the game at season 1.5. Valve is so far behind on updates for this game. I mean, yes, okay, you say, whoa, whoa, Alex, whoa! Season 1.5 just came out. Yes, I know. In August. Season 2 was supposed to come out in May. So we're behind, okay? And open fording should have been ripped out of this game. The way open fording could be fixed is that you only get the free rerolls after like you're down to like 70% health or once you pass 50 health. Once you hit a certain health threshold. People should not be not playing this game. When the start I don't no 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 I'm not getting I'm not gonna do it. It's, it's done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't I can't do this. Every video I release, it's me open fording. It's open it's me not open fording, me raging about open forders. I can't do it. 
It's 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 without question the worst part of this game. And it makes no sense that it's gone untouched for so long. There's a right and a wrong way to do things. And open fording is representative of the wrong way to do things. I don't lay down arms, so and it's only because, unfortunately, we haven't received any updates. Like, like I'm talking, we have. We have received updates. What I mean is, like, true... No, I'm just going to drop it. I'm going to drop it. I know it's an argument I can't win. Every time I bring it up, every time I bring up open fording, the, the, the dislikes on my videos are, like, way higher than normal. Because I know people disagree. I get it, okay? If you, I get it. I'll just drop it. But there's absolutely no way open fording should remain in this game. Absolutely none. It's it's not. It's indefensible. It's indefensible. Uh, I'm just checking contention here. So we have a lot of contention on the bounty. None on Venom. None here. So we're in a really tricky spot. Jeez, on my majesty and power. I can't remember the last time I was in this smuggler's den. I think that we should go out. We should roll a bit here. But we can pull Slark. We get 10% at 6. We're on pace level-wise. It's very unlikely we 3-star any of the ones because I've rolled too high. There's Slark. Who you want, Stan? Okay, I got to 29. Hopefully we can get a win here. I've decided we're not going to go Poisoners long term. We are going to go Spirits. I think there's too much value in, in, uh, in Spirits. There's way too much value in Spirits. Come on, come on, come on. Right now, we're taking advantage of the fact that we have the Poisoners going. Now, we are short one Assassin, which breaks my heart. Being one Assassin away from getting the Assassin bonus hurts. But at the same time, like, we're gonna get this- we're gonna get this win. We got the win, we got the interest. We're good. We're good. We're okay. A lot of- okay, no one's on Assassins at all, which is crazy. So we're going to be first to Slark, we're first to the uh, Spirits as well, it looks like. So we're really rolling uncontested right now, which means that we should probably consider a bit of a hard roll here. So in that case, I refuse to give up the Slark. We activate a line at the Assassin Alliance. We level a bit. We're having a really weird bench situation here. A really weird bench situation. I take the level. We go to six. We're in the sweet spot for Slark. Slark's a potential win condition. If we get a Mask of Madness, it only makes things even stronger. We're poisoning guys like crazy right now, which is great. Queen's doing work for us. Everyone's doing work. It's just a good game so far, I think. Well, that's what we're testing right now, Seraphim. That is exactly what we're testing right this moment. Yes, this is going. Now we will be getting rid of these poisoners at some point, but right now in this early game, they are worth it. With assassins, I mean, I had healing in Essex, which sucks with assassins. I, I and it was fine. Help keep those guys alive. Let's see what we got here. So again, we're uncontested to roll. We got to roll for mask. It didn't come. We didn't get the mask. We didn't get the mask, which is very unfortunate. Dragon Lance. Have to take oh, that hurts. The storm grows stronger. I know now okay. what I did. Okay. So I didn't fix up positioning there, but I just wanted to get the composition out that I wanted. 
So basically what we're doing here, we are transitioning out of Poisoners into Assassin Spirits. I think it has the most potential right now for us. Minute six! Oh, of course you want another viewer's game after that absolute bombshell you dropped on us the other day. Alright, so we got that dub there. We're gonna do this. So right now we're we're in first place, which is great. We got uncontested all throughout. No one's on spirits. We're approaching three star. Like three star storing spirits a win condition for us. Absolutely, as is Slark. Slark! We're gonna roll one here. I see five units. Blacklist. We got the Ember. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. We're gonna give Ember. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm gonna give Ember the survivability. I'm gonna give this over here. Put this here, put him here. Let's see what this does. We're not doing this to ease. Yeah, no assassin's item hurts. Like, we've had some really bad... I mean, no, Stonehall Pike's fine, but... We really needed Mask. We needed a Mask of Madness. That was... That is a genuine win condition. Pretty decent Delta Slam here. It's not too bad. We're doing alright. Double Storm Spirit. We're on our way to 3-star Storm. Pretty good hit there. We're getting wins. We're getting wins. We're getting wins. We're on fire. He's on fire. So far, this game, because we're running uncontested units, we can afford to level a little bit. We could hard roll for these guys, too. Now, realistically, our win conditions are as follows. We are, we're going to win with Storm. We're going to win with Ember. We're going to win with Slark. Those are our win conditions, okay? So, with that being said, we can afford to get to level 7. Now, the problem is, is going to be on someone like PA. Now, PA might be the assassin we just don't run. I mean, we can also get rid of Bounty. We're in a tricky spot. We're not going to three-star Bounty Hunter. We're not going to three-star PA. Maybe I hold them for now. Just because. But realistically, like, Slark... If I, if I had a mask, Slark would be in. But I don't have a mask. So we're in this weird position where we got to kind of wait. I'm positioning the Storm Spirits on the edges here. Because they do more damage with Ball Lightning the further they travel. Are these... Uh, so that's a Dragon Lance. So that Luna's in a great spot. But this guy, otherwise, is in a dangerous spot. There's a Delta. Ember is active. Here it is, another Delta Slam, and we got him pretty good there. We're gonna get another win. Also, healing and stealing Eno, I think is completely underrated this patch. Look at the amount of damage and healing he's doing. So he's doing a decent amount of damage. 1200, which ain't bad, you'll take that. But look at the healing. 1500, 1600, that's not bad. You take that all day, you take that all day. I know uh, it's doing pretty good he's for on us. Fire. We are on fire. We're doing good, and realistically, like, we just have two stars across the board. We're not doing anything crazy right now, we're just... There's Slork. So Slork getting that, he has to... Oh, damn it. Do I give him the evasion? He already disarms when he lands anyway. No. We just gotta hope for a decent item for Slark. It's that simple, we just gotta hope we pull a decent item for Slark. That's it. Now, I don't think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna start using my economy a bit to, uh, to roll. I think it's worth it. Here we go, let's get a good delta- Oh, that is an awful delta slam. How is that possible? How was that the delta- Oh my, that's two! The next label play. The next label play. Those were two horrible delta He's slams. We got the win anyway, but that was awful. Ember leading the way. Of course we'll take a battle for an Ember. In this situation here, because we are running assassins, I do prioritize the damage potential of Ember Spirit. Now, when I run assassins, I tend sorry, when I run spirits, I tend to take Ember out and run Void because it allows us to bait them in further. Because when Ember jumps, he kind of he pins the enemy team in the back, right? He's kind of a weird spirit like that. He kind of counteracts them. I'm gonna roll again. Come on, give me something. Brutal. We got. To, it has to be Silver's Edge, but this still sucks. It has to be Silver's Edge, but this is still not good. Not a good situation. And the thing about Ember Spirit is that, like, there's a cooldown on the Halberd, right? It just I'm just using it because it gives them a little bit of added survivability. Okay, there's the PA, there's the Ember. There's another PA. Okay, I'm not- I wasn't expecting this. We are moving towards 3-star PA. Which is damn fine. I will take that. 
We are going to hold the Ember Spirits and the Slarks because uh, we're moving into the sweet spot for tier three, which means that uh, we should be able to three star them. We got some contention over here. This guy's holding our assassins. Why? Why is he holding our assassins? That is a beauty, Delta. You take that all day long. Here comes the, uh, the Spectre. The Spectre is very problematic. Oh, another good Delta Slam. Come on, come on. Don't let spec cast again. Take that spec down. Specs down. And we got the win. Streak complete. <laughs> we got the streak. Here we go. Kamikaze, good to see you. Are there any three stars on my enemies now? There are. Um, there's one Nature's Prophet. With a Necromicon. Pretty good item, but he's not gonna he's not generating enough mana. That three star Nature's needs like a Scythe of the Vies. But then again, what do I know? I'm gonna roll. Do I roll? Do I level? Do I roll? Do I level? I should probably get damn it they were functions looks like you need a cutout okay had we got the two embers i had to think that through there it's worth leveling in that circumstance because we had units we want remember we can kind of get rid of we're obviously not going to run bounty hunter anymore Bounty Hunter is not part of this plan, but also we got to get to eight in order to pull off the uh, the faces, right? Our spirits will carry us for some time, but look, you're starting to see people completely. Uh, that's the one thing about spirits, right? Everyone's naturally like this guy corner comp, and that's why he beat us. He beat us straight up because he corner comped. He hit us for he hit us for seven, and a lot of people are just doing that. That's the one thing about this game too, right? You're in a si we're in situations where people just naturally tend to corner comp. Now, actually, most people aren't corner comp. What am I talking about? Is that just him? Wait a minute. It more or less is just him, so never mind. I take that back. You have a discerning eye, my friend. You thought I was dangerous before. From knowledge comes skill. That hurts. No, I made a mistake! No! No! What did, I what did I do? No! Oh my gosh, why did I do that? I, I thought I had to take more units off! No! Why did I do that? That was the worst play imaginable! I just sold a two-star queen for no reason! Oh my gosh! No! Why did I do that? Oh no! I know what I was thinking! I needed more space for the TA while- Oh no! I was thinking, oh, I don't have enough space for TA, but I could have left her in the shop. Why did I- Oh no, I made a mistake. I, it was just a mistake. It was just a mistake. I'm sorry, people. No! That was a really bad play. That was like... That was an unforgivably bad play. There's nothing out like there's not there's no explanation. It was just a garbage play. But I ain't seen nothing yet. There's not there's nothing else to say. It was garbage. Come on. My resolve is unbreakable. Come on. We have to chase this now. We're one away from two two star uh, three star spirits. We gotta take them. We gotta chase that. God chase it. And Milo, I made a horrible play. As usual. As usual. Like, no one's really no one's really surprised. I completely I just I just messed up. I just I I just messed up. I sold a two-star queen of pain when I didn't really have to. But that being said, like realistically, I probably would have sold her right now anyway. To focus on my Slark, my Storm, and my Ember. Like we're at seven right now, I gotta keep rolling. We have a win condition here. We're one off from Ember. We're one off from Storm Spirit. We're two off from Slark Three. Kaboom! Like we're we're in a good spot right now. Look, we have to three star guys. That's it. That's how we're gonna win. Uh, Mac, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. So I ultimately would have ultimately I would have had to have sell, sold her. Okay. Ultimately I would have had to have sold her. Kaboom! Medler, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I like how people are like, hey, this guy's really bad. I'm gonna follow. It's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna take butterfly. Ooh, it's butter. I have to take butterfly. I need an item for Slark. It has to be butterfly. 
Medler with the sub! Thank you so much! I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Truly. Thank you for your support. Oh, I want to roll, but I can't. I got to economy a bit. I'm running too much risk. Running too much risk. Thank you so much for the sub. That really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for the follows. It's funny. It's like, wow, this guy's so bad. I'm going to follow. You know what? He's so bad. I got a sub. I gotta let this guy- I gotta let this guy feel a little better about himself. Throw him that stuff. <laughs> hey, we all make mistakes. The difference is- The difference is that when I make a mistake, I got- I got- I got a lot of people watching. And I got a video that I post. The average YouTuber just wouldn't post this video. They'd be like, no, man, that's too bad. That play was too bad. You just don't post that vid. Let people think you're unstoppable, Alex. Let people think that you don't make mistakes. No, that's not how I do. No, no, no. We own! We own! ourselves here okay this is a mistake welcome area if you suck at this game you are welcome here because at the end of the day we no all way. suck we also had a not jack bauer with the sub jack bauer getting on the alex sucks train with the sub hype yes i know i'm kidding it's funny, like, I have, <laughs> to answer, so, so Matt, to answer the question specifically, it's like, I have an incredibly deep understanding of the game. However, however, I make mechanical problems like that some, sometimes, that is so ridiculous, like, it's like, come on, man, how does a guy who's played this game for as long as this guy has, make mistakes like that? But, you know what, we own it, right? That's it, just have fun, at the end of the day, it's a game we play for funsies. And I know there's a lot of you out there that, that actually watch because you love watching me make the mistakes and throw. There's a good old saying here that if we're not throwing, we're not trying. So, this game's all about throwing. This is the game of throws. Good Slark doing work. That's it, Slark. Normally, normally. That's right, Major, in the right place. But honestly, guys, Meddler and Jack, thank you so much. For the, uh, the subs, it means a lot to me. Your support makes such a big difference here. No way! Kamikaze gifted subs! We got a hype train! We got a hype train! Kamikaze! Wow! Thank you so much. There's three stars everywhere. Look at these lineups. We're still first place. We got to push ourselves back a bit. But thank you guys so much for these subs. Like this is insane. Thank you. The sub hype is real. Wow. Now we should be able to hit this guy with a pretty good delta. Come on, delta slam. We're we not gonna get a single delta slam off right now. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Come on, Slork. Slark soloed a couple guys there to keep us in it. I couldn't roll there because of the damn Spectre. By the way, we economied back up, even though we could have been hard rolling for these guys here. Now, they are uncontested. We still got the health. We got the economy back. We haven't seen a single Slark. That Abaddon's scary, though. That Abaddon's scary. Now, we're two off from Slark. So, we're going to stay at seven for now. We're going to chase these three stars. We got it. We have no choice. Yes! <laughs> I didn't even have to do it. It did it for me. Blessed be RNG. Now, do I butterfly him? I don't think I can. He's got 30 kills. Maybe we leave it on him for now. Damn. I'm going to leave it on him for now. Come on. Give me that ember. Give me the ember. There's Slork. No ember. There's the queen. We've seen a bunch of queens now. The game's like, hey, Alex. Actually, hey, idiot. Remember when you sold two-star queen? You had a two-star on, you only needed three more? Well, here's like six queens. You've been dodging them the entire time. Come on, come on. Get those deltas, let's go! Not a bad delta, not a bad one, not a good one either. Now, we're doing a lot more damage on those delta slams, thanks to the uh, storm spirit. Every pulse of the delta slam represents one of the spirits. This guy just beat us for 13 with one health. Johnny Danger causing problems for us. I think I should... I just 31 kills.
Should I give him the Octarine? I should. Give him the Octarine. She has 20. It's fine. That gets enough value out of this, the pike. We need we need an item for Ember. We need like a Divine Rapier or something. Diffusal's not bad. Diffusal's not bad. Let's get greedier. Let's get greedy. We want pure damage. MKB, BKB. Maelstrom's not bad either. I love Scatty too. I'm gonna take you know what? I'm taking Scatty. I'm taking Scatty here. The reason why is because the Scatty effect is spread across the um, the units, right? So I'm actually gonna do this. We'll take the roll. Come on! Oh, yes! Normally, normally. Now we got an interesting situation here. So he goes in, he comes in. The second, so we keep two Slarks, put him here. That was some gifted RNG. I could even I could even buy this other ember, run an additional ember, but I don't think I would. So we have a scatty on him. It's not a bad item. It's not a good item either. Like he's gonna apply a like he, he applies the scatty effect to everybody. It also makes him highly survivable. Come on, one more cast. You didn't get the second slate. We didn't get a we didn't get a delta off. This guy's lineup is pretty stacked. So people have crazy lineups right now, which no is way. crazy. Nielsey Boo gave him five subs! What? Can't let Kamikaze outdo you. Oh my gosh, guys! No way! I don't deserve this! I don't deserve this! Thank you so much! Wow! I appreciate it. No way! Oh, Nielsey Boo and uh, oh, Nielsey Boo and uh, Kamikaze know each other. Now they're in a competition. Slark! Yes! No way! No way is right! We got ourselves another Slark! Three-star Slark! We got another Slark? No, we're not doing that. That's stupid. Um, okay, I'm gonna put Titan. No Just, way! No way is right! This here. Okay, we got it. We got we got this. We got this, okay? Could do butterfly. Oh, we need a bet. Like butterfly could go so well on so many different units. It is a good item on Slark. Naturally, we want a mask. We could go Satanic on Slark. Great Delta Slam. That's exactly what we need. I do like Scatty on the Ember. I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Beastmaster's going down. We hit him for 15. There we go. We're in top four. We're in the points. We're in the points. We got a level three hype train, guys. I can't. I don't even know what to say, guys. Your support is unbelievable. We're top three. We're top three despite the errors in the early game. We're top three. I'm not gonna run this spear. We'll get rid of him. TBA. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push towards leveling. I might even take this, get him on. Take it. Put him here. Hopefully he just pulls off a. Uh... I just want him to like get a casual cast off. That's it. Slark 3 is incredible. He's actually getting his Dark Pact off because he's not silenced either. He's not silenced. You are seeing the Dark Pact get uh, get uh, utilized here. So this guy we've been having trouble beating. He beat us before, but we are way stronger now. Ember hasn't even cast yet. We stole. Oh, we stole the uh, the Necromicon. It's on. Uh, it's on. Um, I know. So he's gonna get a ton of bru bruisers out. We're doing work, man. We're crushing these guys. Top two. Can we beat this guy? Can we beat Yoshi? Yoshi sucks. Yoshi's Island. Great game, though. He can beat us. Yoshi can beat us. He's at level seven. So we need to position to counter this guy. Let me just take a look at the shop here. Come on, give me, give me something crazy. Nothing. Could activate warrior. It's probably worth it, honestly. You're hurt. He beat us. We gotta get a stun. He doesn't matter. Put him here. Stun right away. Who's there? Oh, three star bat as well. He's there. Slark jumps there. These guys go. So we gotta focus on killing. He didn't move. We should be able to lock him. Let's see the stun here. Come on, don't die first. He's disarmed. There's the stun. We should be able to come on. Slark should delete. So that's a good one. That's exactly what we needed. It's not hitting him for very much damage. Unfortunately, he has so much health. He has a very tanky. His, his lineup's great, man. It's a great lineup. It's going to be hard for us to do much here. Maybe. Come on, come on. 
Oh, not enough. Has to be Radiance. This is useless. Of course he cornered. That's exactly what he's, he did. He made the right play. Corner. He's gonna beat me. I can't beat him. So if he corners with an Ember Spirit who jumps, look, PA jumps. She blows up. We can get rid of PA. Add in another Spirit. Yeah, he's got us. It's actually a decent Delta, but look, Slark's getting messed up. We needed a Satanic on the Slark, maybe. Yeah, we can't beat him. He might hit us for 21 here. This might be 21. It wasn't 21. It wasn't 21. He's got, like, we have, we have to be, get a bit of a miracle here. We don't even have this in. A silenced. Unbelievable. Look at that Delta Slam. Awful. We needed, we needed to hit the Delta Slam. Slark's gonna go down. He's getting stunned. We might actually win this? This is close. Unfortunately, he's getting a lot of healing. Yeah, we lost. We lost. You know what? That was a good game. We actually almost beat him there. The game was lagging like crazy. But you know what? It's all right. It's all right. We ran out of time. It was just we needed a little more time. We didn't have the two-star tied. We could have done more, but it was a good game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a very special thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day.